Whoa, it's making an interesting sound today. Yeah, it's about to fall apart. Finally. Welcome to Good Mythical More. How well do you know your scientific uh, per periodic table of elements and how much do you care? Don't answer that. You're here, it'll be fun. But first, let's play Who You Talking About. We read a comment that somebody made and we try to figure out if it was about me or him. Eric says, Eric. 100%. That is not how blank eats pickles. He was just avoiding being memed. Uh, somebody biting the side of a pickle, apparently. You remember biting the side of a pickle? I remember. You wanna be memed? <laughs> <laughs> I remember biting the middle of a pickle, but I wasn't trying to not be memed, I was just trying to be cute. I think it was Rhett too. Uh -huh. yep. mm -hmm. Let's see him not being memed. Mm. I like to eat my pickles right in the middle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Your eye. Uh, yeah. You can tell right there. Try not to be mean. <laughs> Got it, Mary. It's coming in chocolate. Uh, periodic or moronic. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be moronic, even though I have the answers, mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know, I have what? to read this stuff. Leave that to us. Okay. Steve. I will read this <laughs> correctly. No. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give you. An element, the name of an element, you're gonna have to guess if it's real or if we made it up. And then if it's real, you're gonna have to guess what its symbol is. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Before you give us the first one, I just wanna acknowledge, I believe that we have now officially set the world record for men who have held a ping pong paddle most times without playing ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 that, that, that's us. It's a record. Uh, and we're not wasting paddles. Um, it is the same the same paddle, paddle every same time, paddle. I would hope, I would hope. But um, we do make a donation to the Ping Pong Global Association for every time that we uh, do use new we, paddles. We do, we do. All right. Californium. 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 Here's the one thing I'll say, just as a little hint for y'all. Uh, who don't uh, who, who don't subscribe to uh, Periodic Table magazine monthly? They're discovering new elements all the time now because they figured out how to like manipulate stuff on a level that they can like find new elements, and they don't they don't even worry about updating the periodic table anymore. Really, there's so many. They're, they're like finding new oh, elements. Well, then this is giving me pause. And my so friend. I kind of feel like Californium knows how to party. Could be one. Well, I'm I'm gonna stick with the table that I know and say moronic. I'm gonna say it's periodic just based on that. It's real. Mm. Dang. What's its symbol? It's not C A because that's calcium. C F. It's C F. Yeah. yeah there you it's go. classified yeah. as an actinide. Uh, it was first produced by scientists working at the See. University of California, Berkeley produced. in 1950. 1950. And it's being used as a neutron source to identify gold and silver ores through a technique known as neutron activation. It's also being used in devices known as neutron moisture gauges that are used to find water and oil bearing layers in oil wells. That's how I figure out whether or not my skin is too oily with a neutron, um, what'd what you call it? Said. What'd you call it? And which moisture one? gauge? Yeah, neutron moisture gauge. You know, this is a cool game. From Neutrogena, <laughs> because uh, you know Breaking Bad made the periodic table of elements cool again. Yeah, I didn't watch that when it came out. I had to play catch up once people told me it was awesome. I mean, not that late, but not in real time or anything. I was thinking about our middle school musicals the other day, and I was like, how old are that? Those kids have to be. Full blown adults now. Wow, that's scary. They're probably like twenty. Yeah, because that was like. Let's let's make that again with them. That's what I was thinking. And see how much worse it gets. Yeah. <laughs> Livermorium. That's oh. not real. Livermore. Yeah, the just it, the it doesn't the roll off liver. the tongue. The word liver. Like I can't hear a scientist saying that. No. Well, it might be liver morium, morium because it's real. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What's this one do? Uh, do you want to guess its symbol? It gives you more liver. Uh, LV. Yep. I was going to say LV. Classified so as a post-transition metal liver liver morium is 
expected to be a solid at room temperature. In 2000, scientists working at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, <laughs> Russia, along with scientists from the U.S. Department of Energy's Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, oh, there you go, mm. announced that the creation announced the creation of Livermorium. Since only a few You're atoms <laughs> of <laughs> Livermorium have ever been produced. It currently has no uses okay. outside of now basic scientific research. It's good for nothing. After all that, it's good for nothing. But it, it is expected to be a solid at room temperature, but we haven't made enough of it to to to, to note that. Mm -hmm. Bor modium. Gormodium? Bor. Bormodium. Bormodium. Yeah. That's, currently that's what you take if a modium doesn't work. You know? If you really got real bad diarrhea, if if you're really disinterested in something, I think that's when you take it. Uh, bor bor I think this is. I think, think this is real. I think this is moronic. It's fake. Oh, well, tell us more. But about if it. it were real, read us a, read us a few sentences. Neptunium. Neptunium. Uh, that's. Hmm. See, they get, now, mixing planets and elements is dangerous. You can't have elements that aren't from Earth. That's a different table. Yeah. <laughs> That's the inter, intergalactic table of elements. Uh, Neptunium. We don't, we've never collected anything from Neptune. Neptunium. So why would they call something Neptunium? Mm, maybe it's just under the sea. I'm saying yes. I'm saying not. This is King Neptune. Moronic. King it's Neptune's real. toenails. That's real. Symbol. <laughs> NP. Yeah. Wow. We're, you're get, good we're at getting those right symbols. every time. Yeah. If you tell us a new element, we can tell you what you need to call it. Right. Call us up. Uh, Neptunium was first produced by Edward M. Mc. Mellon and Philip H. Abelson, working at the University of California, Berkeley in Berkeley's 1940. Berkeley's be making elements. Yeah. Named for the planet Neptune. It is fissionable and used in fast neutron reactors and nuclear weapons. So they're making an element to then make a fission reaction. Mm hmm That's pretty cool, man. Up at Berkeley. We should go up there sometime. And? See if we can get in. I don't think we could hang. I mean, of course, we could send them this episode, you know, send them all these like science experiments that we crack without instructions. It'd be like, oh, let's have a residency. Oh, maybe we give them an let's honorary a, PhD. Yeah, you see them, the Beaker Boys? Give them a little tenure. You let know, them like let dangle them, a little tenure for my Beaker Boys. Let the Beaker Boys do the, uh, the, the graduation address. Hey, you know what? But we won't go because they're too liberal. <laughs> too liberal That's up there in Berkeley. Right. They're brainwashing those kids up oh, there. My oh my goodness. They're they got an agenda up there. They're creating liberals left and right up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dividium. Dividium? Duvidium. Dividium. Dividium? So it divides. That's fake. Elements are not divisible. That's what makes them an element, right? And if you do divide them, you create explosions. But don't take our word for it. It's fake, but it is a real techno metal band from the UK. Davidium? And they're here right now. <laughs> Welcome to Vidium. Well, I mean, think about the trouble that y'all would have to go through for that joke. <laughs> to bring out a band only to make an appearance in the middle of a good mythical moor. And we don't even hear their music. They just come out. They just like, stand. And they, they're not like. They get back like, on a plane. They're liking just like t-shirts and jeans. Like, yeah. Where are they from? They don't even speak the language. Uh, they're from the UK. From, they don't <laughs> exactly. even they don't even speak the language. They don't speak American. Palladium. That's real. See, that's an example of of a joke that they wouldn't teach you at uh, Berkeley. <laughs> at the at, at, in what class? That the Brits don't speak English. The Bur oh oh it's too liberal. <laughs> yeah, that's a. <laughs> Uh, the, at the Berkeley Joke Writing School, right? You don't. You don't I think make, it's, I think it's you called don't the make, Berkeley College the language joke. College of Joke Writing. Link. Where? Palladium. Palladium. Oh, definitely. I think that's definitely. just actually just like a stadium somewhere. It's real. Huh. Symbol. P. No, it's not P L. 
It's PD. PL. Why are you so good at that? PD? Because PL yeah. is something else already. It's it's PD. Yeah. Palladium PL was discovered by William Hyde Wollaston, an English chemist, in 1803. Palladium was named after the asteroid Ballas, which you know, the people who are gonna Palace? people are gonna have a field day in the comments who are like, oh, I know all my oh, elements all, and who invented them and the where. Ber the ah! professors who, who tune into this one are gonna be like, they're uh, gonna get that like Steve, satisfaction. Steve's getting a lot of things wrong. Yeah, Steve, it's not Walston. It's Walston. The only people um, listening to what you're saying else. are the ones that are saying that you're wrong. Everyone yeah. else is like, I... that's true. If you walked around up there at Berkeley. Have you been to Berkeley? Uh, I don't think I have. It just has that like, what I imagine like a prestigious school in the Northeast, which I've also never been to, would be, have. Like it has that kind of campus what, is and it, then like. Is it in San Francisco? Well, it's in Berkeley. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but so it, Berkeley is its own. Where is that? Town outside of San Francisco. Ha! But it's not, but don't think of it like a suburb. It's its own thing and it has like, you know. Hold like, on, didn't we go to UC Bert? I know we went to UC Davis for the. Uh, it's different the, than the UC Davis. <laughs> where's, where's UC Davis? Davis. But uh, it just has this feel. Like I, I, I've always had this secret desire, other than being a, ping, a professional ping pong player, and they call it table tennis, to be a professor at a place. No, I don't think they would let me into Berkeley, but. It's a professor that's kind of like walks around a beautiful campus and, and then goes to the coffee shop, you know, like that. That but feels your like dad the, feels like the life. Your dad did that, so it's you should see the you saw the unglamorous side of it. <laughs> the unglamorous. Side, yeah. He loved his job. I mean, you ever seen your dad take a dump? Be honest. Ever seen my dad take a dump? Uh, I don't understand the relevance of this question, but yeah, who who hasn't seen their dad take a dump? I mean, there's times. There's I'm sorry. Um, I have. Yeah. Seen. No, that's going to be a no for me. I have See? not. Yeah. Seen her seen dad. My dad take, a, take dump. a dump. Right. I mean, I had maybe I had to like bring him toilet paper or something. And that didn't change your view of like being a being a professor. Do you think he took a dump more often because he was a professor? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I don't understand. My dad I, wasn't a professor and isn't. So uh, it's, like, it's that campus coffee. You ever seen him take a dump? I'm saying you've seen, but really, I'm saying you've seen like the the seedy side of being a professor. Actually, it's not all it's cracked up to me. My be. dad seemed super fulfilled. Forty years teaching, man, he seemed super super fulfilled. Like, and I was I was like, you know what? I think I should have just been a professor. <laughs> you know what happens when you get really fulfilled? You gotta take it down. Yeah, right. That's right. Okay, but that's good to know. I mean, your dad did something. You're like, man, you know what? I wish it, he was happy. Yeah, but I want to be. I want. I don't, He's still alive. I want to be He's retired. A, I want to be at like Berkeley or like you know. I want to be like a prestigious school. He was at Pepperdine for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was. He was right there on the coast. Yeah. If you want to hear more about our personal lives, um, listen to our podcast because we can't keep talking about dad's dumping here. I mean, it just wouldn't be appropriate. Right, but, but over there on Ear Biscuits. How we start every episode. Dedicate an hour to that. <laughs> Travertinium. Travertinium is Definitely. real. I, 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 you I think that Travertinium is real is what you're saying? Oh, yeah, Travertinium? <laughs> it's discovered by our very own Traver, it's, the that's, waiter. That's moronic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fake. Trevor to me. Um, antimony. I've antimony? heard of that. Antimony. I know that's a thing. Antimony is a is a legal concept. Alimony. I know that because, but antimony is when it's between ants. Antimony. A antimony is when you have to pay your aunt. Uh, Could be a tenemy. I don't know. <laughs> because your uh, you your uncle your uncle left her. So you have to support your aunt. Yep. Antimony, mm -hmm. but only in Maine. Antimony. <laughs> uh, you're guessing fake and real. Uh -huh. It is real. Huh. Yes, I've heard of. And I okay. If you guess the symbol for this one, I'm gonna be blown away. Nobody oh. show them the symbol for this. A Y. One. No. No. Antimony. Ayo. Ay. Ayo. I am. 
It's two letters that are not even in the word. Oh, so it's like gold. A U. Okay. S. Yes. Q. No. Nope. No. S B. Who who showed it to you? Hold on. You're kidding me. You know what? I'm oh my freaking God. psychic. I'm telling you guys. Hold on, reverse that. I it's... keep trying to tell you guys. No one showed me. I've never heard of this thing before. S B B S. No. I'm not buying it. Hey. <laughs> you, you, okay, so you think I'm walking around with secret knowledge about what the the letters I picked two letters out of twenty six. What are the chances that two letters out of twenty six? <laughs> no, but in the right order. What are the chances, he says? I'm Say it again, hesitantly man, blown away, because I feel like this could be no. like an what onion chances, situation again. But. What are the chances? There you go. Say it again. They're slim. Say it again. It feels good. Man, I you should be impressed with that. You should just celebrate what just happened. It's, it's, it's pretty impressive. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm too jealous to celebrate. It was a complete guess, but again, I think I'm tuned into some frequency, guys. I gotta go, you know what? I need to go see, I need to go see a psychic. That's what I need to do. But you are the psychic. No, but I need a psychic to tell me if I'm psychic. <clears throat> That's not what psychics do. Psychics tell you they're psychic. I need a psychic, I need a psychic determiner. Yeah, different career path. Oh, well, where do you get that, Berkeley? A psychic certifier, it's kind of like a home inspector. I think I'll go to the guys at Berkeley. Definitely Berkeley. To get the Red Link plushies, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.